I have added some blue right up here at the tip. You can see that. And I've even darkened it a little more around here. But now I'm ready to go into the other half of the leaf. Now I want to leave a little bit of vein running down here. And sometimes I like to put some, sorry, I move it because I get to busy talking and I don't realize that I'm moving it. There we go. Oh, and that's just not gonna be, that's too liquid. So let's, let's I'm gonna pick up some of that liquid. You know how you can do that with a thirsty brush. Yeah. So let's let's try that again. Yeah. And like I say, I am leaving a little bit of a vein there. Now one of the things that Ellie has Ellie says that she learned Ellie Cox, is to um, change every now and then, change your color every little, little ways. So that's something I try to remember to do. I want it dark right here, because it's the underside. Then I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to soften it because I'm not ready to do that that um, little stem yet. Okay, now I want to, because I want to add different things, I'm going to put some raw sienna up there. Now, what I have done with the other leaves is I've worked them where... To, to just try to do different things and add different colors. And you'll see that when you look at the leaves that I have done. Okay. I'm, I'm getting happy with that. I really want it much darker. So what I'm doing, I'm picking up Sarah's green here, but I want to add some more burnt sienna to it in order to... Um, really get it dark and you can see it's real wet and I'm gonna have to touch my brush to the thing to get the excess water out okay now I'm ready to come back here some of that dark over here too. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I've got to put the iPhone so you can see what I'm doing, but I've got to keep it so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Okay. Now, I, I love the way that is blended. I really am very happy with that. So now I want to blend this in. Now one of the things I found that it's doing is it's picking up. If I'm not careful, it's picking up color instead of spreading it. So I'm really happy with this, um, the um, raw sienna up there. I'm gonna add some more on the other side too. If you're happy with something, then you try to overdo it. Now, obviously, I've got to blend that in or it's not going to work. Don't want to get rid of my blue totally. Okay. Now, I want to soften this out. And I may just go ahead and do that, like, that stem. What I've done with the stems... I'm gonna change brushes, pull on my sleeve before I get the paint in it. Um, and I'm going to take, and again, I'm gonna put blue on the upper side of it. A little more blue. That's a lot of blue. I'm not worried about it though. Don't panic. No panic in the streets, Julie. 
Okay, now we're gonna go in with the green. Now that's really blue, so you know what? What can we do to change? I love that right there. I think that's really nice. Let's see. Okay, we want to pick up some green. Now, again, I'm going to make some more dark, dark, dark green. Brown. Okay, I want to come up underneath this um, petal because there's a shadow from the petal on the stem. At least there is in my world. don't like the fact that it's ending right there, so I'm going to make it a little wider because I didn't like at all that it was. And unfortunately, that means I've got to cover up some of the things I've already painted, but that's okay. Now, you remember I told you that we want to change color frequently, and I haven't done that up here, so I've got to do something to change it. But let's get this in first. I really love the way the raw sienna is blending with the green. I just think that's very cool. Okay, so we need to change it. So I'm gonna take a thirsty brush and you know how to do this. I'm just gonna pull it down. That puts a little light, makes it a little more interesting, I think. And I'm doing it toward the center of the stem because that's where the light would be hitting us. Whoa, that really picked up a lot. I don't think I want it to pick up that much, so I'll go back in. Okay, I've got to blend that in just a little bit. And I think I want to have the bottom side here darker. I feel like this is really gutsy of me because I haven't practiced this. I always think when Bob Ross has painted a painting, he's probably painted it several times before he's presenting it to you. Okay, let's, let's add a little more dark and see if it'll bleed in some. And let's, let's add some of that Rossi and I'm enjoying so much right there. Of course, it's too thick there, so let's blend it out. Might even add a little yellow. Why not? That sounds like a Bob Ross thing to say, add a little yellow, why not? Okay, now. When I have seen pictures of sunflower stems, if you look, they tend to have all these little, um, can you see the little hairy things? I don't know, Some, I'm not willing to spend the patience to do that. So we won't have that. Okay, now this is our leaf for right now. Come back later and do more. There's our stem. You can see I've done other stems. I have been working up here on these, and I'll talk with them about, about them later. Bye.